<clears throat> Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I was going to show you what I'm up to. Um, so the project that I'm working on uh, next is uh, the water break. And to cast the next piece for the water break, I need the, uh, the flask uh, to mold up all the sand in. And uh, that's what I'm working on right now. So you can see right here, here's some of the, the flasks I've de designed and built that are completed. I uh, did a little bit of work on the pattern. The uh, pattern I didn't have quite enough draft angle and it made it really difficult so I added uh, good amount of draft angle along the uh, parting line for the pattern and I ran out of white paint so I had to switch to red um, and I did this uh, I mean I made this pattern before I uh, had flasks that could take a matchboard and uh, I kind of regret that because um, it's a lot easier to use a matchboard use a matchboard if, or match plate if you can so uh, here is the uh, water break I showed you in one of the last videos and basically it's a big and efficient water pump it has this uh, rotor that uh, spins inside connected to a shaft and there will be an inlet and an outlet and it basically just churns up a bunch of water and creates resistance and that will be the uh, load for the uh, engine project I'm working on. Um, so we'll see how that works. So uh, in other news in the shop, I've got some parts come in. Solid state relay, some K thermocouples, and another package. Alright, I think it was a, a pound of hexagonal boron nitride. Forget what I got it. I think it was like 9 micron or something. So, my uh, powdered uh, metal is not in yet. But when my powdered metal does come in, the first test. Oh, and I also uh, graphite too. Um, my plan is to mix uh, about 5% by weight hexagonal boron nitride powder with a pre-alloy, um, or not a pre-alloy, but a pre-mix 90-10 bronze. And what that is is 90% uh, 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 copper powder and 10% uh, tin powder. And I will press them in a mold or a die under really high pressure and it should actually stick together enough to handle and then I will fire it in a uh, furnace in a reducing atmosphere and the parts will actually center and basically they'll bond together and hopefully with that hexagonal boron nitride in there it will have uh, lubricating properties and that's what I'm going to try for my seal design for uh, my rotary valve uh, project um, so that's what's going on. Hopefully uh, these parts come in. I'll get that die made up and uh, I'll make some more videos for you guys. Um, hopefully of uh, casting that uh, rotor and then the, uh, the centering process. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, thanks for stopping.